For September 2014, this is CTA News in Review. Mayor Rahm Emanuel, CTA President Forrest Claypool, and CTA Board Chairman Terry Peterson broke ground on a new 95th Street terminal, one of the largest station projects in its history. The $240 million reconstruction project will replace the current facility, which was built in 1969, and create a signature transit hub that will serve CTA's busiest rail line. The new 95th Street Terminal will serve trains and buses in a new, modern terminal. The 1,000 weekday bus trips in and out of that station each weekday connect roughly 300,000 people who live within walking distance of the CTA bus routes that serve the 95th Street Terminal. The station will have buildings both north and south of 95th Street, connected by an enclosed pedestrian bridge, increasing safety for the thousands of adults and children who move through the station each day. Currently, the terminal serves about 20,000 people each weekday. The new terminal will also be an anchor for economic development on Chicago's south side. The project follows last year's on-time, on-budget reconstruction of the Red Line South between downtown and 95th Street, which has resulted in smoother, faster, and more reliable rides for customers. The project will also incorporate artworks from internationally recognized Chicago-based artist Theaster Gates and involve a program incorporating job creation, skills training, and significant community engagement by the artist. More information on the project is available at transitchicago.com 95th terminal. The CTA moved closer to its plan to overhaul its second oldest rail cars, the 3200 series currently found on the brown and orange lines, after awarding a $92 million contract for the materials needed to substantially renovate all 257 of these rail cars. The overhauls will extend the life of the rail cars, which were purchased by the CTA in 1992 and 1993. The work will improve their performance, efficiency, and reliability by replacing or rebuilding many of the rail car's major components. In total, the CTA will invest more than $166 million in the 3200 series fleet overhaul, which will improve reliability and lower repair and maintenance costs for the cars that currently run on the brown and orange lines. Mayor Emanuel announced the city is soliciting proposals for three transformational transit projects in the loop. The Washington Wabash CTA Station, the Central Loop Bus Rapid Transit Project, or BRT, and the Union Station Transit Center. Combined, the projects represent a major redevelopment and modernization of transportation from Union Station to Millennium Park, the benefits of which will be felt throughout the city. The Chicago Department of Transportation, which will manage the projects totaling $150 million, intends to award contracts by the end of the year so that construction can begin in the first quarter of 2015. The Washington Wabash CTA station will replace two century-old stations at Madison and Randolph with one modern, fully accessible station that will have updated platforms, a new mezzanine, elevators, an escalator, CTA train tracker displays, and security cameras. One year after launching an informational campaign focused on rail customer safety, the CTA reported a nearly 17% drop in the number of incidences of people trespassing on CTA railroad tracks. Customers who enter CTA tracks face not only the danger of oncoming trains, but also that of the electrified third rail, which carries 600 volts of electricity used to propel trains, a level of electricity that is almost always lethal within seconds of contact. The vast majority of reports involve people making a conscious decision to go on the tracks. Overall, the CTA has long had a very strong safety record related to rail service. Last year, more than 229 million riders took train trips. A CTA customer who drops a personal item can inform a CTA station employee, all of whom have received proper safety training and can communicate with CTA's control center to slow or stop trains or remove power as needed to retrieve the item. For all your breaking CTA news, go to transitchicago.com news and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.